Hi cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to be drawing a Draw So Cute Girl inspired by Easter. And yes, obviously I'm very inspired too. So I have these bunny ears on. <laughs> Get your bunny ears out if you have them too, right? That's so how we can draw this together. But um, before we get started, I wanted to thank uh, you cuties for always helping me vote for names for my Draw So Cute Girls on my community page on YouTube. So thank you for that and I hope you really, you've really enjoyed that process. And um, definitely let me know in the comments below uh, what other Draw So Cute Girls you would like me to draw for you and um, I'll try my best to get to them. Please be patient and, understand, and thank you for being so understanding. Okay, so get your Sharpie and your piece of paper ready and let's get started. To draw this Easter inspired girl, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically a widen out U. So about right here. Stop and oops, go right here. And draw a curve for her face. So nice and wide. and connect. Okay, so now that we have that curve in, it's leveled on both sides. Let's come into this area we started and we're going to draw a big circle for the eyes. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right here. And we're going to come inside here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. and lines at the bottom. So then let's come to the top right here and we're going to draw two curves for lashes. And over here. And let's give her a sweet smile. So about right here I'm just going to add a little curve and cap it off. Then let's come to the top and we're going to come about right here above her eye and I'm just going to draw a curve over her eye for her eyebrows. So I'll go right here. From there, let's start to draw her hair. So kind of in the center, about right here, I'm going to start and give myself a point. So about right here. And I'm going to work on the first strand of hair so I'm just going to come in here with a curve close to her brow and go up. Then from there, I'm just going to sweep a curve down close to her brow and come right out. So on this side, let's just bring this up a little bit more. On this side, it's just going to be one big curve, touching her brow and coming down. So then from there, we can just bring this in a little bit and then tuck her ears in here. She's going to draw a little curve right in there. And so same thing on the other side, whatever space you have left, just bring this curve in and tuck her ears in. Then from there, let's come straight to the top right here in this area. We're going to draw the headband where her bunny ears are. So I'm uh, just going to imagine a curve. So I'm just going to start about right here drag this point across so I know where I'm going on the other side. So about right here. Just approximate. And I'm going to draw a curve right on top of her head. From there, I'm going to thicken this band. So just come up and thicken it. And now to draw the bunny ears. So um, we're going to center them. So I'm just going to start with the first one right here. And I'm going to go up with a curve 
and come down. And let's draw the insides of the ears. And same thing over here. There. Okay, so then from there, um, we're going to come about in this area. Just kind of imagine her head's going to be uh, about right here. I'm just going to add a curve. So this is going to be the top of her head. It's going to come through and come down. And it's going to come really close to this part right here. So just bring it down. And it's down more. Okay, so we're pretty much done with her head part right here. We're going to finish her hair a little bit later, so let's work on her body. To draw her body, we're going to start by drawing her neck right in the center. So about right here, I'm just going to give myself two little points. And I'm going to bring down her neck and then her shoulders. So same thing on the other side. Then let's come and imagine where her armpits would be. So I'm just going to say about right here and here. And from that to those two points, I'm going to draw two slight angle lines. Then now let's come in here and um, I'm going to st start by finishing off this curve right here. And I'm going to connect it in this area a curve. I'm going to start to draw her outfit and then come in here with another curve. Fix the shoulder a little bit. Okay, so then we um, can bring this down a little bit more for the little dress that she's wearing. And let's come in here and draw the sleeves. So come down and we're just going to tuck in these little sleeves. And on this side, because I'm having her hands kind of outwards a little bit, holding a basket, it's going to be slightly tilted up. So about right here, it's going to go up. So that's the difference. This one's down, this one goes up. From there, I'm going to um, just bring this dress down a little bit more. And about right there, I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve. And let's come down here. So we're going to draw her legs. So right in the center, go over the line down and same thing over here. About that much and bring it in. So it's getting thinner down towards the bottom right here. And in about this area, I'm going to connect it with a curve and just come down for her boots. So I'm just having her wear these rain boots. That would be really cute. You can add some polka dots to her rain boots. <laughs> and same thing over here. I think they're called galoshes, right? I should have Googled that before I drew this <laughs> to make sure, but I think that's what they're called. Okay, so I got her rain boots in. And then now let's come and draw her hands. So her hands will be about uh, this area down about right there. So let's come right here. And this one's a lot simpler. It's just kind of to the side. So I'm just going to come down with a curve. And we're going to draw her thumb. So it kind of flares out a little bit. Thumb and then her fingers. And if you like, you can add another little finger in the back. Now for the other side. So the other side, she's holding a basket. So I'm going to come out right here 
and draw a curve. So her hand is about right here. So if it's lifting up, it'll be about approximate. So about approximately right here. I'm going to stop and let's see here. Just to make it a little bit easier. You're going to have to imagine a handle right here. So I'm just going to cut this off right there. Bring in this little handle. Just imagine a little handle for our basket. And then right here, I'm going to add a curve and finish it off. And then right here, two little fingers. And we're going to continue this handle of our basket through the hand. So just a simplified way of making it look like she's holding the basket. <laughs> okay, so then let's bring down this handle for our basket on both sides. And we're going to connect it with a curve. And let's draw the bottom of our basket. Just a simplified basket and then I'm going to add a little detail right here. Curves going across and maybe a cute little bow. It's all up to you. Hope this inspires you. <laughs> okay, so then let's, of course, we're going to have to add a bunch of eggs in here, right? So I'm just going to draw the tops of our eggs, maybe three of them. You add some in the back. And just to decorate a very um, just so you know they're eggs, so uh, something simple, not too complicated. I'm gonna strike because you don't have much room in the back right here. Okay, and then that is pretty much it for this hand. Then let's come back in here and I'm going to give her a little pocket right here in the center. And of course, I'm going to add a little heart right here because she is my draw so cute Easter girl, right? <laughs> okay. And then now we can go ahead and finish her hair. So I'm going to just come right here. You add a little strand and then tuck it right in. So same thing here. Now a little strand if you like. And just gonna tuck her hair in the back. And let's see here. That is pretty much it for her drawing, um, for drawing her. I'm going to come in here and fix my face a little bit here. And now to draw some, um, since she's outside, I'm going to come in this area. I'm just going to draw some grass. If you like to give her some scenery, just different layers of grass. And of course, I'm going to add some dandelions. <laughs> detail right here. So there, hope you love how this new Draw So Cute Girl um, turned out and I was able to help you draw it too. And I want to say happy Easter, Drasa Cuties. Even if you don't um, celebrate the religious part of Easter, I hope you enjoy uh, celebrate Easter by um, maybe just collecting eggs out in your home, in your yard, because I know we can't um, go out right now. So um, I hope you enjoyed this time with your family. And if there were a um, adult Easter egg hunt, I would definitely be there because that would be totally something I would love to do. <laughs> so hopefully maybe next year, right? After this crisis is over and we can get back to our lives, I'm going to go for an adult Easter egg hunt, right? <laughs> 
so there thank you so much for watching and um if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new drastic cute videos see you later